I've been very blessed to have uh, had two wonderful, wonderful children. They were a lot more wonderful when they weren't teenagers, but we'll, we'll move on from that. And um, I decided that, uh, unlike some Croatian fathers and other British fathers, that I would like to attend the birth of my children to support my wife and, uh, and just to be there for this incredible moment. In Croatia, it's not that simple. In order to attend a birth, I was told at the time, you have to attend what they call this father's class, this prenatal class. And this is uh, two days a week. Uh, for four weeks after which you get some kind of certificate and based on that you can go in and you can attend the birth. This is all very well in practice um, but uh, I lived on, on the Isle de Croix and the only prenatal class was in Split and the class started at seven o'clock in the evening and finished at nine and the last ferry back was at uh, eight o'clock to the island so I would have had to spend two nights a week for four weeks overnighting in Split to do it so I decided not to proceed. We eventually went up to Rijeka to have the babies uh, because that's the, uh, the, best ho the, the best hospital for childbirth and uh, when we got there we asked is there any possibility that uh, I could come and attend the birth even though I didn't have the certificate? And I was told, no problem at all. Um, as soon as your wife goes into labor, come down to reception, inform us, you pay 300 kuna, and then you'll be allowed in. And I thought this was a bribe, but it wasn't. I actually got new platelets of this uh, little form you have to fill in for an official payment. And then I went and I knocked on the door and the, and the surgeon with his, uh, with his uh, stuff on came in. They dressed me up and I was there for the, uh, for the birth of the child. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. But our child was born at one o'clock in the morning on Sunday night. It was the most incredible experience seeing this baby. And three minutes after the birth, I was told to leave the building and come back tomorrow morning. And so I left all these incredible emotions of having, uh, of having seen my first child born. And then I was left to, watch the, to walk the streets of Rijeka to celebrate. There was nobody to call at one o'clock in the morning. I went to look for a bar, but the only bar there was was by the bus station with all the drunks and tramps and stuff. And so that's how I celebrated the birth of my first child. But that is just the start of the parenting story as a foreigner here because I really had a really fascinating time on the island uh, being a dad. I wanted to be an all-inclusive dad to change the diapers, uh, to be there, to um, take the kid out and so on. And uh, when we came home from uh, Rijeka back to Starigrad, we were joking, would uh, grandma be waiting at the ferry? Would she be waiting on the terrace? And there she was on the terrace. You know, my wife went first, my grandma went second. I went third carrying the baby, went into the bedroom. My wife went in, my the grandma went in, and then she turned around, she took the baby from me and she said, thank you, your job is done. And she closed the door in my face. And at that point, I realized that being a Dalmatian father, uh, your job was basically to provide the child and to bring it home. But I wanted to be much more of an inclusive father. So after about six weeks or so, um, I decided that it would be good for me to take my child um, out uh, and about. I used to go down to the cafe every day for a drink at, uh, at lunchtime. And uh, I was doing a bit of real estate at the time. And we had these uh, Americans that wanted to buy this house on the piazza. So I had this wonderful thing called a hugger bub, which is this wrap around where you put the baby in there. And at six weeks old, I decided to take the baby in myself and we went down to look at this property and the American clients were like, oh, that's a beautiful baby. And the owner of the apartment said, what's that? And I said, it's my daughter. He said, oh, I had no idea. Congratulations. Where's the mum? And I said, she's at home resting. And she goes, yeah, but you're the dad with the baby. We don't do that in Dalmatia. You know, the baby should be with the mother. And I was like, okay. And then for the next two, three years, I would come down to the piazza with my child for a, for a drink every day. I actually got a way that I could have my beer and I could feed the baby the, the milk at the same time. I was changing diapers on the cafe tables and so on. And all the women on the piazza thought I was amazing. And they gave me a nickname, Nai Tata, like best dad. And all the guys just looked at me like I was a complete and utter idiot because I was making them look terrible. But guys, being a dad, get in there, change your diapers, take it out, it's fantastic.